Hello geocachers, as you can see spring is here and uh, the tourists are starting to get out boating on the canal in their barges and uh, see the spring daffodils. So uh, the clocks have gone forward and uh, there's a cache here of um, hidden about 60 caches and I should imagine by the end of the, this year I'd have got a hundred caches hidden in uh, and uh, around Worcestershire that's in the Midlands of uh, England UK so I suppose you could call those uh, boat models barge models because it is by the edge of the water it's, um, very kind, what a lovely thing to do in the spring. Look at that, isn't that a good picture? I think that's cool that is. As it goes off into the distance we can go and find my uh, cache here. I've uh, been videoing my uh, caches and uh, checking on them, see if they're okay and set up ready for the the spring rush, everybody will be out uh, geocaching. See the lovely bench there, you can sit by the, the canal. This is Springfall Park by the way, in Kidderminster, which is uh, in the wild forest area. And this canal goes from uh, all the way from the uh, Stair Pump Basin, where I was born, all the way to the Stair Bridge of like um, Black Country, uh, Birmingham, you know. Anyway, they've gone now, so we can look for the cache. Oh, there's another one coming here. It's as if they're on queue. And uh, see the dog, dog, uh, doggers walking muggles around the main park there. There's a big uh, park there. You can probably see the top of the goalpost where they play football. So it's very um, busy up there. So, and it's very busy down here. That's an excellent picture. On queue. It's actually, what I'll tell you what it's called as they go past, I'll give them a wave. No, yeah, just give them a wave. Um, it's called Kingfisher Catches Fish. I won't say anything more than that. It probably doesn't need the clue. Can you see anything? Kingfisher catches fish. I love this one. This gets a lot of favourites for, um, well, you can see it's a beautiful place to actually uh, come and sit. Very appropriately, the birds are singing for spring. I think you can see them now. It's uh, not. It's um. It is um. A tree, an old tree that's uh, fallen in, probably into the canal, and it's been uh, carved into two kingfishers, and I've called it Kingfisher Catches Fish. And actually, oh, there's a bike muggle look going past there. See how cool this area is. I come along there. I came along here actually on my bike to uh, hide this one, and I spotted it from the other side where that. Uh, uh, biker is. I thought that would be a perfect place there he goes, that would be a perfect place to hide one of my caches so I checked on the on my GPS and the map and I found a route around and I've put lots of caches on this side now and on the other side of the canal so there's a big, there's a nice loop we're going to go in now and find it because I just, as I've been talking I've been watching the, the dog muggle that was um, behind me he was uh, watching the barge actually, rather than watching me. And there's another bog I can just see in the distance. I might be able to get it. Oh, I did put a clue actually. Oh, I forgot to what I was going to say. I found a car boot sale. Uh, a carved uh, fish. It's like a fish where you, in the mouth was, it was like a pencil holder. 
You know what I mean? The pencil holder had its mouth, so you can push a pencil on and have it on your desk. And I found this at a car boot sale, it was only 50p. I thought, yeah, that's great. So you can actually, if you want to be a geocache uh, CEO, which is uh, uh, a person that hides the caches, anybody can do it. Uh, you can find these caches, uh, you know, might find them in um, a car boot sale or a, um, a charity shop. And you think, oh, that's going to be good for a, a cache. So I bought this uh, carved um, fish and I put the cache, instead of pencil, in the mouth. If you, you see what I mean, with the little top. And I hid it in here, but because it was so good, I think somebody muggled... And people come along here to look at the fish and it's going to get muggled easy. Instead, I didn't want to give up on this cache because look how cool it is. Um, I uh, replaced it with just a plain uh, camo cache and uh, I think the clue says um, mushroom. Can you see the mushroom? It's more hidden in the, in the summer when everything's growing up but it's just mushroom. Now, hopefully this hasn't been muggled like the other one and you go underneath and it's very simple it's just a camo camo there hope you like that and then if you take the top off I'm just looking behind me to see if anybody's looking don't want them to muggle me there we are tip that out look there it is oh it's gone <laughs> I've lost it down the hole can you see it anybody Oh, it's gone down there. Where's it gone? Oh, it's there. That's there. I thought I'd lost it. Oh, let me jump. Somebody say, hey, to the dog. Two muggles walking up. Anyway, that, if you place that there, that's got the thing. I'll put it there, it is. Can you see the geocaching.com uh, signature? Yellow, blue, green, orange. And it says geocussing.com if people want to find out more about it. And then that's, uh, that's to keep it doubly um, uh, dry. Hopefully they think I'm taking a picture of um, the two... Um, I'll put that back in there. Can you see it? It just goes in there. I'll put a stone or something to stop it rolling out. And we'll take photos while the... While the there, look. We'll take photos while the muggles come past. Oh, actually, this would be good. Look at me, birds. You can hear the birds singing, but look. Two more ends, or are they more ends? Can anybody identify them with the white um, heads? Coots. Which one's coots? I'll get this mixed up. The one that's got red are more ends, and aren't these coots? It's one or the other. That's quite a nice scene actually, yeah. Uh, a dog will walk in a muggle. Oh no, a dog will walk in two muggles. Two coots. It's got it's been eaten by the, <laughs> it's got in its mouth. Hello, they're, they're safe. And um, two king kingfishers being carved by the roads um roads up. along the canal. Look at that. Isn't that a lovely scene there now? Two moot, um, coots or more ends. I'll put in the description what they are. Two um, uh, muggles being walked by the doggo and a boat coming past. It's as if they've done this on cue. That's a brilliant sight. Isn't that a good picture? They go past and the I should take a picture of that, shouldn't I? There, I just waved. So, what do you think of that? Hope you can uh, comment and tell me what you think of that cache of mine. Uh, hopefully I'm going to get up to 100 caches, um, but I've got 60 at the moment, and I'm, I'm going round checking them ready for the spring and see if they're all in good order and uh, replacing ones that have been muggled and uh, I'm going to replace more and I love this cache anyway I, I come, come here and you can actually just um, 
sit there, look, and watch the world go by. Anyway, I hope you can subscribe, like, comment, and I'll um, uh, answer any questions below or just uh, just uh, comment. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. And happy geocaching. This was Symbol. Bye for now.